Number 37. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions, which is basically steps two to five in a half reaction method. So we have letter A here. We just have to balance SN4+, plus, which is an aqueous, and it turns into SN2+, plus in aqueous. Okay. So I wrote down all the steps down here for you guys um, from one to nine, I guess, right? For balancing in acidic solutions. Now, just know this, that if they don't tell you what solution you're in, right? Usually they'll be like, in acidic solution, or they'll say in basic solution, right? But if they don't say anything, always just do the acidic answer, okay? So I wrote down all the steps here for you, but we just have to only do steps two through five, mainly because this is a half reaction already. When you're balancing, which we're going to be doing, uh, the full reactions, you have to break it up into half reactions first. But since this is a half reaction, we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this big. So we have SN4+, plus, and that's aqueous, yields SN, which is tin, 2 plus, and that's aqueous. Okay, so guys, just remember these steps. They're written in a very, very specific way, okay? So just keep drilling it into your head what step one, two, three, all the way to nine is, okay? Because we're always going to go in the same direction. So we don't have to break it into half reactions because this is already a half reaction. But number two, we have to balance all elements except hydrogen and oxygen. But it looks like I only have one element here. I only have tin, right? I have SN on the left side and I have SN on the right side. Well, how many tins do I have here? I only have one, right? This is the charge. It has nothing to do with how many there are. I have one tin on the left, and I have one tin on the right. So in this case, I don't have to do this step. It's already balanced. So when you're just skipping over a step, that's totally fine. You could just skip it. So we move on to step number three. Step number three is always balance oxygens by adding H2O. So there's the oxygen in H2O, right? But if I look, I don't have any oxygen on this side. And I don't have any oxygen on this side, so I could skip this step. There's no oxygens that need to be balanced. Step four, balance hydrogen by adding H+. But once again, I have no hydrogen on my reactant side. I have no hydrogen on my product side. It's just tin, so I can skip this step too. This one's pretty easy. But now we come down to five. Once you balance all of your elements, you now have to start balancing your electrons. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're always going to add the electron and remember electrons are always negative. So we're always going to add electrons to the more positive side. Now, how do we do that? What I like to do is I like to break this equation up. So wherever I write the yield sign, I just like to write a little barrier here just to make it clear to me that this is one side and this is another side. What you're going to do is you're going to get the total charges on the left and the right side. Look for those charges in the upper right-hand corner. Now, on my reactant side, I have a 4 plus charge, right? And I only have one tin, so the total charge on this side would be a plus 4. And I like to write them on the top. Let's do the same thing here. There's only one element, it's just tin, right, SN, and it's a 2 plus. So I know that this whole side is a plus two. You're always going to add your electrons to the more positive side. So out of a plus four and a plus two, which one is more positive? Yeah, it's definitely this, right? And how many numbers would I need to go to go from a plus four to a plus two? I like to think of bunny hops, right? If you think of it as a number line, I need to get to I need to jump two spots to get to a two, right? From four to three to two. So I, I need two electrons. So I write that on the more positive side. And we write it as plus 
two electrons. The E minus is the electron, and then this number in front just tells me how many I added. So I have four. I wanted to get to a two. I have to add two negatives, or two electrons. And that's it. That's the stop here. As soon as you add the electrons for your half reaction, you need to have another half reaction to finish the numbers out here. But in this case, we only care about, you know, balancing the actual half reaction. So once you start adding electrons, that's the end. So this is the end, guys. It's, it's literally just two electrons plus your SN4 plus, and that's aqueous, and that will yield SN2 plus. Look how easy that was. There you go. So, guys, let me know what you think. Love hearing from you guys. And if you, this video helped you out, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to. And if you need more help with, you know, balancing redox reactions, uh, stay tuned. All right? We have tons more coming your way. I'll see you in five seconds, okay? All right. Bye-bye.